midnight. You know, people are usually tired. In Bill's Mafia, we're, we're a different breed up here in western New York. Um, I really appreciate their day of eating all day and wanting to go to sleep. But, I mean, uh, we're going to need it this Sunday, though. we got a really good opponent coming in. and appreciate the enthusiasm and the energy that we bring every week. Your guys are going for 10 wins this weekend. Uh, you know, we got to be on top of our game. It's the Bills and the Baltimore Ravens. How big? And you're doing it against the team that just about everyone thinks is the best in the NFL right now. Big is this game, and how ready do you think you guys are for it? Um, I mean, I wouldn't consider it a huge game. You really? know, everybody wants to make a big deal out of it. Yeah, and obviously we're going against a great, great team, and obviously it's going to be a few minutes to go get this thing, but uh, four-quarter grudge match, you know, uh, it's going to take 16 game any bigger than the rest. Um, wow. You know, it's just another one on our schedule. We're not trying to make one. Um, you know, they're playing lights out right now. So, like I said, we got to be able to come in game plan. We've had a couple extra days, um, you know, and we're going to trust the process here. Coach McDermott likes to preach, uh, trust the game plan that we set forth, and just kind of go out there and play, play football the way we know how to. Do you mind if I or anyone watching this interview right now does not believe you that this is not a huge game between Buffalo and Baltimore? Absolutely. You, you can believe what you want. Um, that, that's kind of my take on the thing. And, you know, you know Lamar has been playing fantastic. Um, you know, I got to spend some time with him before the, the draft and some of the Panini stuff that we did. And um, not only is he a, a great football player, but off the field, he's just a fantastic human being. So I'm super happy for the, su the success he's had. Um, you know, it's going to be fun to be out there against him. Do you have any tips for Lamar Jackson running the football? Because you have more rushing touchdowns than he does. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm not going to give any tips to Lamar. I don't think he needs them from me. <laughs> That's awesome. This weekend across the NFL, it's my cause, my cleats. We've been doing this in the league for a few years now. What are you going to be doing this weekend uh, on your footwear? I can't tell you the design yet. I just got oh, my cleats that look fantastic. Okay. Yeah. But I will say what we're doing is uh, it's for brain and spinal trauma injuries. I had two kids that actually suffered um, some injuries that um, fully recovered and they're healed and they helped me design the cleats. So they signed both of them. Um, it means a lot to me and you know I'll be able to auction them off after the game. And like I said, all the profits will be going to the hospital here. That is awesome stuff. Josh Allen, we wish you all the best as you try and get Bills and Bills Mafia back to the promised land. Thanks for the time today, Josh. Thank you, Scott. Thanks for having me on.